Look up at the night sky. Each star is a cosmic furnace, a factory for the elements. In the fiery hearts of dying stars, atoms are forged, carbon, oxygen, iron, and sometimes gold. This precious metal that has captivated humanity for millennia wasn't made on Earth. It was delivered here, raining down on our young planet billions of years ago. So, when we ask how much gold is on Earth, we're really asking a cosmic question, connecting us to the origins of our solar system. The jewelry on your hand is linked to the violent death of a star that lived and died before our sun even ignited. The story of gold is the story of astronomy, geology, chemistry, and human history all rolled into one. We dig into the ground to find it, but its story begins in the heavens. Gold is rare, beautiful, and almost magically resistant to decay. It doesn't rust or tarnish, it simply endures. Let's embark on a journey through time and space, deep into the Earth's crust and even deeper into its core. We want to know, how much of this stellar remnant does our planet hold? How much have we found and how much more is hidden beneath our feet? The quest to answer this is about more than accounting. It's about understanding our world's resources and our own curiosity. Science takes the impossibly large and makes it understandable. We'll use physics and geology to piece together this grand puzzle. We'll travel from ancient tombs to modern laboratories, weighing all the gold ever mined and estimating what we'll never touch. Come on, the universe has a story to tell. And it's written in gold. Please like, share, and subscribe. To understand gold, we have to go back. Before Earth was fully formed four and a half billion years ago, as gravity pulled gas and dust together, the heaviest elements, iron, nickel, and gold, sank toward the center, locking most of Earth's original gold deep in the core. The surface was left almost entirely devoid of gold. So where did the gold we find today come from? The answer, the late heavy bombardment. For hundreds of millions of years, asteroids and comets bombarded Earth, delivering heavy elements forged in ancient stars. These cosmic messengers slammed into our planet, seeding the crust and mantle with new materials, including gold. This gold, arriving after the core had formed, stayed near the surface, mixed into the rock. Every nugget and flake we find today is a fragment of these ancient deliveries. First, Earth's gold sank to the core. Then, a cosmic bombardment delivered a new, shallow supply. That's why gold is so rare on the surface. It's an alien addition, a thin, precious veneer. Understanding this stellar origin changes how you see a simple gold ring. It's not just a piece of metal. It's a relic of cosmic history, a tangible link to the violent and beautiful processes that shaped our planet. Gold is a gift from the stars. For billions of years, cosmic gold lay hidden in Earth's rock waiting. Then humanity arrived. We don't know who found the first piece of gold, but imagine a curious ancestor spotting a flash of yellow in a riverbed. Unlike other rocks, gold was soft and malleable and shone with the light of the sun, a piece of magic you could hold. Early discoveries likely happened in places like the Balkans around 6,000 years ago, where people found gold as nuggets and flakes in rivers. Placer gold, its density made it easy to separate from sand and gravel, requiring only patience and a keen eye. Gold's beauty and unique properties made it instantly valuable. Ancient Egyptians called gold the flesh of the gods, associating it with eternity and immortality. They buried pharaohs in golden coffins, believing it would help them join the gods in the afterlife. Gold was not just wealth, it was a pathway to the divine. From Egypt to Rome, from the Incas to China, Gold became the ultimate symbol of power, royalty, and divinity. Rare, beautiful, and durable, it was perfect for crowns, religious icons, and the first forms of money. This initial captivation set the stage for a global obsession that continues today. Gold's allure is universal and timeless. It's more than a metal. It's a symbol of humanity's dreams. The story of gold is the story of us. And it all began with a glimmer in a river. After thousands of years of searching, how much gold has humanity actually collected? The best estimates say we've mined about 215,000 metric tons of gold. That's every speck, nugget, and vein ever pulled from the earth. To put it in perspective, we produce more steel in an hour than all the gold ever mined. If you melted all the gold ever found, you'd have a single cube about 22.5 meters on each side. 
the height of a seven-story building. All the wars, empires, and lives spent searching for gold fit into this surprisingly compact cube. This illustrates gold's incredible rarity and density. Every ounce has a story, a history of human desire and discovery. Our entire golden legacy fits inside a single room. So where is all this gold now? It's not in one place. It's spread across the world, serving many roles. Nearly half is jewelry, about 100,000 metric tons, worn as rings, necklaces, and more. Around 20% is held by investors and central banks as a store of value, sitting in vaults like Fort Knox. About 17% is used in industry. Gold's conductivity and resistance to corrosion make it vital for electronics, medicine, and even space technology. The rest is scattered in coins, metals, and decorative items. Gold's value is multifaceted. It satisfies our desire for beauty, our need for financial security, and our drive for innovation. From jewelry to satellites, gold is woven into civilization. That single cube is part of our economy, our technology, and our culture. Gold is more than a treasure. It's a tool, a symbol, and a legacy. Its story is everywhere. We've accounted for the gold we've mined, but how much is still underground? Geologists distinguish between reserves, gold we know we can mine profitably, and resources, gold we think is there but can't yet access. Current reserves are about 57,000 metric tons. Resources could add another 100,000 metric tons if technology or prices improve. That means we've already brought more than half of all mineable gold to the surface. The easy gold is gone. Future mining will be harder and more expensive. We're getting better at finding the last hidden pockets, but we're nearing the bottom of the barrel. The hunt for gold is only getting tougher. But if you want to know the total amount of gold on Earth, you have to look deeper, into the core. Most of Earth's gold isn't in the crust at all. It's locked away in the core, over 2,900 kilometers beneath our feet. Scientists estimate the core contains enough gold to cover the entire planet in a layer four meters deep. That's about 1.6 quadrillion metric tons, a number so vast it's almost meaningless. All the gold we've ever mined is a speck compared to this hidden hoard. But this treasure is forever inaccessible, sealed away by thousands of kilometers of rock and unimaginable pressure. We live on a golden planet, but almost all of its gold is out of reach. The core's gold will never be jewelry or currency. It's a silent, molten heart, shaping our planet's mass and magnetic field. It's the ultimate buried treasure. Our golden dreams are confined to the crust. The real fortune lies far below. Let's add it all up. We have 215,000 tons mined, 57,000 tons in reserves, and 100,000 tons in resources. About 372,000 metric tons of gold in the Earth's crust that we could ever hope to access. If you gathered it all, you'd have a cube about 28 meters on each side, the size of a nine-story building. That's the weight of about 62,000 elephants. But compared to the 1.6 quadrillion tons in the core, it's nothing. A single grain of sand on a cosmic beach. All the gold in the crust would barely fill a supertanker. The core's gold would need billions of ships. Gold is both one of the rarest materials we can access and one of the most abundant on our planet as a whole. Its value and magic come from the geological accident that keeps most of it locked away. We live on the thinnest golden shell of a much larger treasure chest. The paradox of gold defines our relationship with it. Its scarcity shapes its story. And its abundance, hidden deep below, remains forever out of reach. That's the cosmic tally. In a world of digital currencies and space exploration, gold still holds a special place. Its value endures, not just from tradition, but because its properties are as relevant today as ever. Gold remains the ultimate symbol of love and commitment, a safe haven asset, and a bedrock of financial stability. We're culturally programmed to see gold as precious, a belief passed down for generations. But science and technology are finding new uses. Gold nanoparticles in medicine, gold-coated visors for astronauts, and gold mirrors on the James Webb Space Telescope. Gold protects our explorers and helps us unlock the secrets of the cosmos. It's both a symbol of our past and a tool for our future. Gold connects the tomb of a pharaoh to a telescope peering at the dawn of time. It's soft enough for jewelry, robust enough for space. 
Gold shines because it's beautiful and because it's profoundly useful. Its story is far from over. From a dying star to a riverbed, from a pharaoh's tomb to your phone, gold's journey is intertwined with ours. It's a story of cosmic origins, human ingenuity, and enduring desire. Every piece of gold carries the weight of history and the promise of the future. The quest for gold has driven exploration, built empires, and fueled innovation. All the gold ever mined could fit inside a baseball field, making every ounce more significant. We are custodians of a finite, precious resource gifted by the cosmos. This story connects us all. The gold persists against corrosion, and humanity persists in its quest for knowledge, beauty, and security. Next time you see gold, think of its epic journey, from a star's death to your hand. Please subscribe to Next Verse. What would you do if you found that unmistakable glimmer in the water? Your answer connects you to the very first person who ever wondered at its magic.